Better remember to stab that like button. Going to live streams. Stab it. I'm dangerous now, guys. Okay, everybody. So, I just wanted to make a little video here, throw it together, and uh, just kind of show what's been going on. Um, so, my stickers, uh, the print shop, I think, is going under because they're. Anyway, so I'm going to send out my mail. Tired of waiting. Um, so, sorry it took so long, everybody. And, um, what else? Um, I'm going to show some clips here of some of the riots that's been going on here in Oregon. Um, thank God that they're not down the street from me anymore. So, a little pressure off of me and the family. It's kind of nice, but um, it's still going on here. Um, it's still down the street, just not as bad. Portland's got it really bad, though. It's been going for about 90 days every night. And uh, so, from my understanding, a lot of people don't even know that it's been going on. And it's very violent. It's like a freaking civil war going on here. Anyway, so, um, I, I found some clips I thought were entertaining, funny. Um, so I thought I'd throw those together from the stuff I've seen. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna show anything too violent, I don't think. And, um, what else? Um, yeah, I've been busy. I, uh, just haven't really had too much time to go metal detecting, but, um, things are going good, so, uh, don't worry about that. And, um, the weather's still nice, so I, oh, man. I want to go out on that kayak so bad. Every time I see the water, I just die inside. Uh, uh, so this is being recorded on a new cell phone I got. And we'll see how that turns out. And then uh, what else? I got a tripod for my big camera. Uh, I've been taking lots of pictures when I can. Um, I haven't even been on my bike in like a week or so. Um, we'll be out metal detecting real soon. Really, um, I've been, I haven't been going like I was every day metal detecting, uh, cause I kind of burnt on the parks and the schools and stuff. And just with, mm, freaks and people and stuff, I just, um, not really wanting to be out there right now. So, um, I've been getting stuff prepared to go up into the woods. Um, because, uh, all you guys that go up there, Stan and all the crew going up into those cellar holes and stuff, I want to go up in the woods and metal detect. Um, so I'll probably go up to the ghost town, just kind of been waiting for the perfect opportunity to be able to go up there for the day. And, uh, I wasn't able to get back to the beach right away. Um, soon though, that's quite a drive, it takes a little money to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, so we'll, we'll put this video together, some clips I found, some pictures I've taken, and, uh, something you guys can look at, and, uh, yeah, so, the adventure continues, um, stay strong, yeah, that's all I gotta say, so, love all you guys, be safe out there. Subject you to arrest, citation, or crowd control agents, including but not limited to tear gas, heat, or impact weapons. All persons must immediately leave the area. Get her now.
Sucks to suck. What do you think about it, Kaylee's knee? Portland is quickly approaching 100 days of these riots, and the police are starting to get really upset at getting fireworks thrown at them every single night. That video was from a couple days ago, and uh, the police have kind of taken the gloves off, and it's made for some interesting footage we're going to watch. One more time. everything off the Multnomah County DA announces his office will decline to prosecute certain protest related charges wonderful the new policy announced Tuesday will promote a safe community and reduce the negative and lasting impacts a person can experience once involved in the criminal justice system following an arrest resulting from a peaceful protest or mass demonstration let me remind you that there are people who still refuse to believe that this is happening in Portland all the videos that we just watched let's look at the crimes that will not be prosecuted under this new policy interfering with with a peace officer or parole and probation officer. You know, all the unarresting that people have been doing when police go in to arrest someone that threw a firework at them? Not gonna prosecute that anymore. Second degree disorderly conduct. First and second degree criminal trespassing. Third degree escape, harassment, and riot. That's right, the DA is refusing to prosecute trespassing, third degree escape, getting away from cops, harassment and rioting. The district attorney's office says that the charges resulting in an arrest and assaulting a public safety officer will be subjected to the highest level of scrutiny by the deputy district attorney reviewing the arrest. Consideration for those charges will be given to the chaos of a protesting environment. You guys heard that, right? If someone is actually charged with something at these peaceful protests, then they might just consider it uh, the chaos of a protesting environment. It happens, but it keeps going. <laughs> when a protester is charged with a misdemeanor or felony for crimes that cause only financial harm during a protest, they will be offered conditional dismissal after restitution is paid to the victim or other amends to the community are made, according to the district attorney's office. These crimes include second and third degree mischief when valued under $1,000, First, second, and third degree theft when the value is under $1,000 or when the theft is committed during a riot. Second degree burglary if combined with any criminal mischief or theft allegation. I can go burgle, guys, but as long as I can pay for what I burgled, then nothing will happen to me. I can go break anything under $1,000, but as long as I pay for it after the fact, nothing will happen to me. I can steal something from a business or someone else for under $1,000, and as long as I just pay for it, nothing will happen to me. The district attorney's office said it is neither condoning nor endorsing the conduct that led to the arrest or citation of a person. A prosecution decline decision does not change Oregon law. You are absolutely endorsing that conduct by doing this. So yeah, good luck there, Portland. I don't know why anyone would want to live there anymore. And I am not on here saying that this is the only protesting that goes on in Portland. We've seen the live streams where there are thousands of people packed together, peacefully protesting, and police don't do anything to interfere. But there is crazy stuff like this going on in Portland, and people are refusing to believe it, and now they're just not going to prosecute people for breaking the law. They're definitely going to defund the police too. I don't know if they've announced anything yet, but definitely going to happen. Have fun with that, Portland. Go oh, fuck yourself! Go oh, fuck yourself! Go oh. fuck yourself! Oh. Life will never be the same. Life will never be the
We're going to stand up for freedom. I'm proud to stand for America. All right, now. America offered me an opportunity. My island did it. And I'm here to take a stand. You're from, uh, is it Samoa? I'm from American Samoa. Samoa, yeah, right on. I've been here for uh, seven years now. I've and noticed, I love this country. I've noticed that the people It's all about gun, freedom, and bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that some of the most uh, respectful people of America are immigrants that came here legally. They, they seem to... Because we know, if America was so goddamn bad, why is people from socialist country running here? That's why right. is people from the Middle East running here? I'm and not, I'm this is this. the last stand of freedom, and if it falls to this anarchism, we're nothing. Let's we're go. Done. I've never been to Samoa. I don't know what it's like there. What made you leave there to come here? For better opportunity. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Okay. And big. Always big. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tiny. All righty, man. Uh, I'm here because Black Lives Matter, and the Proud Boys don't represent Portland, and they need to go back to where the rock they crawled out from under. Second, this woman was injured. She took two pretty good hits to the face, has pretty bad facial laceration. I mean, there's a puddle of blood this big down there. And I got fire and rescue off the riot van to go help her, so she's being treated now. For political purposes, you know, I saw him capitalize on it at the DNC all four nights talking about, oh, well, there's chaos in the streets and whatnot. Well, who's causing the chaos? It ain't Trump's people that's causing the chaos. It's not Trump himself causing the chaos. So who's causing the chaos? It's people that a guy like Barack Obama would support uh, talking about, oh, Trump's deploying the federal agents on peaceful protesters. Sir, are you are, what, I don't know what kind of drugs you're on, but please stop. OK. These are not peaceful people. If you're out there in a public square with a permit, doing things by the book, getting your voice out there, there's one thing. But if you loot in the Gucci store or set in the building on fire, that's not called protesting. That is called rioting. That is called arson. That is called theft, larceny, burglary, robbery. That's what's going on. You're talking about actual criminal offenses. He stopped to help a transgender woman who was beaten and robbed, but then her assailants turned on him and his girlfriend. I'm just trying to make sure she gets in the car and I get in the car and we both get out of there. And by the end of it, you know, I'm wrecked and unconscious on the side of the road and she's trying to figure out what happened to me. Hayner says he was called a racist during the attack, who reportedly posted on social media while in hiding, defending his actions and asking for money. <laughs> 